hotel management group bookings. Go to hotel management, group management, and group reservations. This will give you a listing of all the current groups that are booked on the system alphabetically by the name of the group. So set up a new group. We're going to set up another group by double clicking at the top of this list and it'll take us to the group name. So the first side of this screen is pretty straightforward information, group name. Uh, convention really doesn't get used but it can be used as a second line of information but only shows up in this screen and on reports. The contact name, who is the main contact for this group. Uh, we'll just create one here. person's address the contract date is the date the contract was signed usually the current date <clears throat> the cutoff date gets used for reports you can run, say it's run to its cutoff date. This cutoff date could be used for instance if uh, they need to get you a rooming list at least two weeks out then you could set this cutoff date to be that date period. The sign by is a text field where you can put in who is the person authorizing this group to be booked. If you really don't have to go through an authorization process you can put NA or anything that you want into there. Deposit required and the deposit due date. If you require deposits, this you can then put how much is required and the date that that deposit is due by. Market source code, same as in with bookings. If you're using the market source codes, then you can use the lookup and select the appropriate market source code. We don't use corporate codes and travel agents. If you pay a commission, this is where you would link it to the travel agent. The group pays room is the key flag in group bookings. If this flag is on, which is the default when you make a group booking, that means that when it runs the night audit during the group's in-house, it will post the room and tax for each room onto the group master instead of each individual room because it's assuming that one person's paying for the entire group at the end of the stay. If you turn this off, then it's going to post the room and tax to each individual room and not touch the group master. So in my scenario, I want it to post the room and tax to, to the main room. Okay, so what date is this group for. So let's say I'm going to make it for November 1st and I want it for three nights. So again you can either put in the number of nights or put in the end date, whichever works. Now for the rate code there's different ways of doing it. Quite often if you have set up the hotel management in a certain way you'll have something called a group or a group rate and that is what you can set it to. The estimated number of guests, estimated number of rooms. These are just note fields. They have no bearing on what you actually book, which is going to come up in the next screen. It is just an estimate of how many people you think you're going to have and how many rooms you're going to need. The guest per room is just a default, so that when you're taking the bookings for this group booking, it'll always default to two if you want. Now the settlement, if you're picking up individual rooms and you require credit card information from those individuals, then normally this would be set to NA or account or something because then as you take each booking, it'll prompt you for it, but you'll see that later. The member, if it has to be linked to a member based on your system setup, then you can click Sponsor and then link it to an appropriate member that's sponsoring this group in. The last flag is use rate card rates. If this is flagged, it'll use whatever the rate card is for this for these dates. Now quite often for 
for our clients, this grep rate is always set to zero, so they can derive the rate by each individual group booking, in which case you want to deactivate this so that you can set the rates in the next screen. The next screen is details. This is referring not to the number of rooms. It can be a bit confusing. This is setting the number of people per room. And then this is where we're telling it the room. So these are our three dates. So for doubles, how many people are going to be in that room? Now if it's a mix, then you can leave it as one. And then what are you charging for the weekday rate? And if this group spans over a weekend, do you want it to change rate? Then you can put that in here. And now these three columns, the three days of the group, is how many rooms are you looking for? So on the first day, I need one. And this day, I need three. And on this day, I need three. So you can basically fine tune it to say, I only need a couple of rooms on the first day, but I need all of them on the second day and a few on the third day. So for the kings, we're going to say same rate. And we're going to say, I don't need any of those for the first day. And I need two that day. And then they're going to take the suite. And we need one on the first day, that day, and one on the last day. Now, as you're doing this, it will tell you if you're going to overbook. You can also click on Rooms Available, which will give you for those same dates what you have available. If you're ready, you're going to click OK, which will take you back to the main screen. Now, the last step before you get out of here would be your group pays. So, if the group is paying for stuff other than the room. For instance, they're going to pay for the food charges or for phone charges. You can actually come in here and say that phone charges are going to be paid by the group as well. That means all the charges for phone will hit the master account instead of the individual. If it's not going to be all charges, it's going to be selected, maybe only certain rooms, that type of thing. You do have the transfer guest charges. It allows you to move them at a different or a later time onto the group master. That's it. We're going to click OK. And then it's going to want to print our confirmation form. Now keep in mind what happens with this is as soon as I make that group booking, if I go to reservations, there will be no group for that except for one which represents the group master because we haven't picked up rooms or assigned people to rooms. The system isn't assigning specific room numbers. Now, if you go in and look at your room block, you will actually see rooms assigned. These are just arbitrarily assigned by Jonas. When you're taking regular reservations, you can easily book this room for somebody else, and the system will just shift this. Until you physically pick up the rooms, that's when it's going to assign the actual rooms. So if we go to Hotel, Group Management, Pick Up Assigned Rooms. So now you pick up the group you're looking for, and it'll bring up the pickup grid. So basically, you tell it what day are they arriving. Is it going to be on the first? It's going to be three nights. And here I can put in the name of that guest that's going to be staying in that room. It'll automatically bring up the address information, so I can get that information from this guest, and I can also pick the appropriate settlement. So if I know it's going to take credit cards, I could put the credit card in. Now the room type, if you press F2, your lookup, it'll only show you the types that you had blocked. And room number, if I hit F2, I can pick the appropriate room number. If there's more than one person in that room, if I fill in their names here to the right, the system will actually create sharer folio folios for you automatically. So there'll be multiple folios on this room for these people. So if I'm picking up somebody else who's, say, coming in on the second, I can say he's going to take a king, and I can assign a king, and then click OK 
Once I've done picking up the rooms, it'll assign these rooms, take you out, and then you can come back later and pick up additional rooms as you go. Now the view group lets you see what's been picked up and what hasn't. Reserve All will effectively go through and book all the rooms, but will put in just a generic name, in this case Jonas Party Room 1 of 6, Room 2 of 6, etc. Keep in mind, until you've picked up all the rooms, the system will say those other rooms are still available for release. So I've clicked OK, and it's basically going to ask if I'm done, do I want to release the other rooms? Well, no because I may have more people calling in. And then want to bump auto-blocked rooms, you normally will click yes. And then it'll ask where to start the block. Unless you have a specific reason for picking a point, like a specific room it wants to start the block at, you're just going to press enter here. And it will generate a listing of the people you've picked up. So now in reservations, we have multiples for that group. And they are linked into the group as well. If you find you have a regular reservation that's supposed to be part of that group that somehow got taken outside of the group, you can link it right here in Build to Group and tie it into the appropriate group. Keep in mind, you will have to adjust the rate manually if you're going to honor that group rate.